Welcome to Desk Geek. Today I'm going to show you how to download TorChat and start using it. It's really simple. You're going to go to GitHub. I'm going to have a link down below. You're going to save the download file. There's one for Windows. There's one for Debian. There's one for Python source code if you want to use that. You can set it up on Linux anywhere you want. You're going to go through the prompts. This is a very standard install. There's no secret to getting this up. Why would you want to use TorChat? Well, it's completely anonymous encrypted traffic. Very hard to pinpoint where your location is or who's even talking and so it's a great way to keep from all the metadata grabs and everything else that's so popular right now and advertisers using so you're going to download it you're going to go into the folder or the bin folder specifically and you're going to click on that torrent applications the only one with the earth-like icon and once you do that it's going to assign you a tour chat number and you're going to see that ycn ttlq all of that stuff that's your actual user ID you're seeing right there. And you can do the display name as Das Geek, like I'm doing, so that um, you can do that with any of the contacts that you add in so that you actually know who they are. You won't want to know them as the YC and TTL, blah, 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 blah. So once you've done that, you're pretty much set up. Now you can start adding individuals, adding contacts to uh, your tour chat. Uh, additionally, you can set avatars. You can put some text in there to tell people about yourself if you want. Um, so it's it's pretty much like any other instant messaging application out there. Kind of reminds me a lot of IRC for those who are a little older and remember those world. So uh, adding somebody is really simple, but you do have to have that long ID. They have to share it with you. So you can just go to add contact. You put in their ID. You can choose any display name you want for them. And then an invitation message letting them know who you are. So I've got somebody I wanted to add, actually a member of the channel. And feel free to add me, by the way, on Tour Chat. I'd love to have you on there, and we can talk anytime that I'm on. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and add this user by the ID that he gave me in the comment window. And so adding that in now, and we'll give him a display name so I can recognize him as the name that that individual utilizes in YouTube comments. And there he is, you see him pop up down there below. And mlopes87, so we've got him on there and we can edit that, I accidentally put display name as myself there, we can edit that to uh, his name, the mlopes87. And now that individual is there and we can chat as soon as he accepts my invite. You can change your status here, available away, extended away. So if you're not ready to chat with somebody or you want an excuse not to have to reply to them, you can just put yourself in extended away. And then if they send you a message, you can choose whether to really show you're there or not. And that's it. That's IRC Tour Chat. Just a really cool way to keep yourself anonymous on the Internet. You can also set it up through Pigeon here, which is what I'm showing. So you can do a Pigeon setup if you prefer that platform. A lot of people do and utilize your ID and information here, and that's all I'm showing, but you don't have to. This is just another program that you can add as an interface. A lot of people like to use Pigeon because you can add in all your other instant messaging services there as well. So the hardest time you're gonna have is really getting your friends to sign up for it. Again, it's a great way to avoid all the metadata grabbing and advertising and making sure your, your conversations with people are not being monitored or recorded. So hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know if you use Tor Chat. Feel free to add me. Throw your ID down below and I'll add you. I'll even make it that simple. Hopefully you've enjoyed this and I will talk to you next time and we'll be looking at some more cool stuff this week. So until then, get out there and fill your brain. Don't watch the video.